Ruan Halfhausen and Nicholas Lawrence's. We are now controlling three separate motors. What we have done is we've connected two uh, uh, separate motors to a buffer and one separate motor to another buffer. What we have done is we've configured it so the two separate motors are connected to an enable with the control line and the uh, two enable pins are bridged so that only one control line will c control both enables. The other one is connected to another control line so that they r are run separately. We have two functions, one called width and one called start. When the width one is running, only the one separate motor will run and the other two will not work. Then once we have got the width one set to whatever values we wish, we'll run the other two and the other two will carry on with their program. Uh, they are connected. If you look at the screen, you'll see there's just two radio buttons. So only one, one option can be chosen at a time. And that's why it, is, it, con it works with the final project where we have to determine a distance before the program runs and then run the program normally afterwards. Thank you very much for listening. The next project we will have is our final individual project. Thank you very much.